Hello YouTube modeling community. This is Ron coming to you from Grandpa's Toy Room. And this week was not real productive. I didn't get anything finished on the bench. So I can't give you a final update. So instead I'm going to do a little show and tell of a couple of cars that I built uh, about two years ago, um, I normally build box stock, or don't build box stock, <laughs> I said that wrong. I normally build hot rods, customs, and race cars. But these two cars that I'm going to show you just deserve to be built as original style cars. Um, I don't even remember if the kit, I think the kits were Ravel, or maybe Ravel Monogram. I had had them for several years before I ever built them. But the 59 Chevy was the first one I put together, and I did it in um, probably early, early 60s style. Um, I used the bubble fender skirts on it put the Continental kit on it uh, all of that stuff came with the kit um, it's painted with Van Sickle uh, super premium paint uh, that I get at my local Orschland store um, in spray cans uh, it lays out a beautiful beautiful paint job um, all the or a lot of the chrome on it came in the kit uh, the side spears and that stuff came in the kit the chrome down the front fenders and on the tops of the quarter panels um, was all done with bare metal foil um, so were the uh, windshield wipers, um, the chrome strips that you can see on the seats in the interior. If we can get closer here and not go all totally out of focus, um, those are all done in bare metal foil. Um, the upholstery, um, the I don't remember what Chevy called it, but the upholstery inserts in the red seat uh, those were actually decals that came in the kit um, and then all the door handles that stuff uh, the little ashtray covers all of that was done with bare metal foil um, and the dashboard is detailed somewhat with bare metal foil and paint um, the steering wheel I did in red and white like the Impalas were uh, that's the way they came from the factory so that's done in the red and white paint um, you have the red carpets of course and everything like would be from the factory it does actually, the white boot that's covering up where the convertible top mechanism is would lifts off and there's actually a white top that sets on there. Uh, I just forgot to bring it over with me before I started doing this video. And as much trouble as I have with this camera, I don't want to shut it off. Um, if I can get the hood open here here comes the big hand again I think I can do this and you can see down in the engine compartment that we have the 409 engine in it um, has the heater hoses all that stuff in there um, it's just not gonna focus whoops hood went back shut and the thumb was in the way okay not good there we go um, 
all all totally factory stock no no add-on no customizing nothing well then the hood went shut again so we'll just back up here and spin that sideways and then we're gonna lift that one off of there move it and the next one we're gonna get is the 55 Chevy convertible and I done these two almost right together um, can't even tell you how long I took to build them but like I said I did them both totally box stock um, the Continental kit and everything came with this one too there's also a white convertible top that sits on it when you take the boot cover off uh, both kits were were gorgeous kits to put together this one is also painted with the same cut same paint just different colors in the blue and white the uh, chrome bell air trim on the quarter and on the front fenders both came with the kit um, and they actually snap once you get the car painted they glue into place um, the rest of the trim like the trim around the body on the top um, I did that with bare metal foil the windshield trim was chrome in the kit um, this one if we can get down here yeah we're not gonna get a very good picture of it I don't think come on camera focus yeah, it's not gonna focus good at all um, it's got the factory 265 in it um, I did not add any extra detailing uh, no spark plug wires or anything like that on either one of these so there I don't know if you would call them curbsides or what you would call them but um, just tried to make really 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 nice looking stock models um, used the Use the factory fender skirt on these two, or on this one too. The interior is painted. Um, the dark blue in the seats is the same thing as the car was. The light blue is a tester's um, brush painted blue that I added a little bit more white to get the lighter blue, to get the light color that I wanted to go with the interior. Um, dashboard and steering wheel are just like they would be from the factory um, nothing nothing special added there just basically box stock built kits um, enjoyed both of them and I really like having both of them uh, on the display or in the display cases with a lot of my other cars and I thought it might just be fun since I didn't finish anything this week just to show you some that I had built so with that we're going to wish everybody out in the modeling community a very Merry Christmas uh, have a happy new year and also have a safe new year uh, see you again guys this is Ron signing off from Grandpa's Toy Room. Merry Christmas!